Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today um, you can see that it's been a while since I actually showed my face in any of my videos um, and the reason for that is because I'm actually, I, I moved back to my university so for those who don't know, I, I'm, I'm Brazilian, however, I study in Vancouver in Canada and I'm currently um, back at my university um, so I, I don't have like the setup that I usually have so that's why I'm not being able to record my face a lot so but in this video what I wanted to do is I basically asked a couple weeks ago for my subscribers who are in my discord group by the way if you want to enter into our, into the the channel's discord group the link is in the description and I asked them um, if they had any projects like personal projects that they coded and they wanted me to react or give them like my opinion and a bunch of my subscribers sent those projects I'm actually really excited to check them out and possibly like just give them some feedback maybe. so I actually opened up here like by the way this is the the, the discord channel like this the discord server and I opened up here all the like all the some of the projects that I will be looking at this video I didn't actually look at them I actually hold myself um, for like this two weeks um, I really wanted to see them but I decided not to just so I could get a first time reaction here on the video so basically we're gonna be checking the first project right here and it is called explore um, no it's not actually that it's called web dev uh, web dev scom .github .io. first impression it looks amazing I really like the design here so you can see like let me see if it's responsive um yeah you can see like it they have animations that they, they have like a bunch of different stuff so it, it definitely looks amazing um you can see there were many contributors to this there were actually um seven um contributors um it has over 300 stars on github so it is an open source product that a lot of people apparently like it i've never heard of it before but it def definitely looks really nice um apparently they collected over a thousand free resources to make the development journey hassle free so that's something that i think it's is the intention of the website you can see they have like a list of public apis which is really nice i really want to i'll actually check that out because i love playing with random apis um top youtube channels um do they have me i don't think so um, <laughs> let me just check this. Yeah, they didn't, <laughs> but it would be nice. But honestly, like there's a lot of different, um, coding YouTube ch channels in, uh, that are a lot more popular than I am. So I definitely thought that, um, I definitely didn't expect myself to be here. But the thing is that I really like this, this website. You can see there, they really put a lot of work into the, um, UI, which I really appreciate. Um, I actually have an extension here, which I can check all the technologies that they used. So... Um, it's not it's not going to show all of them, but apparently they used Ruby on Rails for the backend. So I've never coded on Ruby before, so I can't even vouch for that. But apparently they're using it. Um, they're using Fastly as the CDN. Um, I don't know what Fastly is, but the first project, it looks really nice. Like, honestly, it looks really, really nice. You can see, look at this. They have animations for like everything. So the group of developers here, they did a really good job in the front end part, right? Um, I'm not sure the back end because I, I, I don't know how I would determine if the back end is anything is good. I could look at the code, but I, I won't be looking at anyone's code for this video. It's just based on the project in itself. So for the first product, I would just say that if this is a I don't think this is a portfolio project. This seems like a, a real product and it actually looks amazing. Honestly, it looks amazing. I think that if you made this, if you like was one of the contributors, which I'm gonna show their name over here. If you were one of them, you definitely show that you know how to code, that you know what you're doing, and you can just see like there's 300 stars on GitHub. I, I've never reached anything close to that, so this is definitely a really nice project. Okay, so let's go to the next project. It's apparently called Mooter, on, and when I click on it, okay, so it gives me like, I really like this. It gives me like a bunch of animations, which again, like, Similar to the last one, I really appreciate when people take the time to do this kind of like small stuff, which I honestly don't. I, I don't do this um, just because I also don't, I'm not that familiar with CSS animations. However, you can see clearly like they took a lot of time to do this or this is a GIF. I, it's probably a GIF, but that's the thing. Like it looks really nice in my opinion. Um, I think this is a portfolio like website. Um, let me see what technologies they used. They used React. They used Style Components, which I I love. Um, they used Netlify for deploying, which makes sense because it says Netlify app. And let's see. Let's analyze this person, right? Um, their works. So they made a bunch of like small projects. So this is one thing that I would say. Um, you can see that I, I 
didn't like this animation right here the like I think it could it, like I think the animation looks good but you need to make it smaller because it's it's kind of like popping up a lot currently I would just decrease the scale in which you increase your your div so that it looks a little bit smaller right and let me see um, like you you have a lot of projects like you have <laughs> you have a lot of projects I would definitely um, just filter for the best projects that you have and just keep those around because you don't want to show every single project you've built so far especially like the ones you did like in the beginning I really like this one I love um, color scheme generators by the way and any e-commerce website if this is actually a full stack application you definitely want to have this at the top of your um, your kind of your list right but there's like a bunch of stuff you can you can like sort for tags so this is really nice I really like this um, you can sort for like um, tags which you can you have a JavaScript react Firebase Adobe so it looks really nice um, let me see what's this this is a you can toggle for light and um, night theme which I really like I really appreciate when people do this on their websites um, let me see about you you study yeah this this is just <laughs> about who you are um, your contact page and your skills so you're familiar with um, that's a good um, a great amount of skills if you're looking for just a front-end um, role then probably this is fine uh, if you aren't I would definitely don't like I would definitely recommend learning a back-end technology don't rely on Firebase uh, like on its own because no one actually uses Firebase on <laughs> on a real 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 application um, I can I probably be crucified for that but people don't use Firebase on their jobs right that's something that I have always questioned um, when I seen like a lot of people using Firebase uh, you will definitely need to learn an SQL um, database you will definitely need to learn how to create API's and Firebase is really helpful to build complex projects really quick however it's not gonna be that useful if you're looking for a job right um, overall I really liked this project um, this isn't a project this is actually a portfolio I really like this portfolio it definitely looks a lot better than my portfolio um, the only thing I would change is the, exactly the the my works um, the the scale in which this increases let me check if this is responsive and yeah apparently it's kind of responsive so that's really awesome so yeah that's basically it um, let's now go to the next um, project okay so this apparently is a uh, it's a it, it opened for a github page but there's a link so I'm gonna click on this um, sorry for sorry about that let me just close this so apparently this is remote sports it's deployed on Heroku which is I really like Heroku um, remote sports provide you with a reliable and secure connection okay so online classes apparently this is like a oh I think I know what this means wait I remember one person submitted a uh, kind of like a zoom uh, like an alternative to zoom right and I think this is exactly it I don't want to create an account but I, I really I really think that I, this is like you can see you can create a free account um, you can use your camera chat and share files um, you can like organize meetings so that's really nice um, if you actually manage to do this let me click on start meeting okay okay I'm gonna allow my camera but let's see and okay allow microphone you can see it's kind of like um, allowing us to to create a, our, our, our zoom meeting right so that's really nice um, I think this is an awesome project if you manage to do this it definitely is a great project to have in your resume so yeah that's basically it okay guys so this is actually the pro one of the projects that I was the most excited for this is called code ist I haven't seen it but like the person who sent it on our discord server they kind of described it so um, it's a, I, I was really excited apparently this is a code editor and uh, like an online code editor to build is already like something complicated to do so if they did it like I don't know oh so they used Firebase but still it, it is it looks like a really nice project let me click on this you can see you can sign up with your email um, I'm gonna use a random email um, okay so apparently this is actually a code like you it is a an online um, IDE you can see I can create stuff like let me create a an HTML page here um, h1 let me just create something saying subscribe okay so you can see that it actually starts it automatically um, renders whatever you're doing right uh, I don't know like you you can just use um, JS CSS and HTML so like I can say alert and yeah it goes automatically I wouldn't recommend having this automatic um, I don't know if you can change that 
Um, I don't think so. But that's like I really like this. I I really liked this. This just shows that you are able to work with both front end and back end. I think. And I don't know how you did this, but it looks really nice. And I would try to add other languages. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you can do that, but like try to build a compile an online compiler. That would be really cool. But I really enjoyed this project, and I think that if you put this in your resume, definitely, it would it would look really nice. Okay, so we have a chat mania over here, right? I think that is this is a a chat. It's like a socket chat. So let me see. I'm just gonna create a, a username, um, Pedro Tech. I'm gonna choose a room, we can choose like any room, I'm going to choose programming because um, this is a programming channel, I'm going to click join chat. And okay, so yeah, apparently you can, let me see. Hey, yeah, so I have two Pedro tags here, let me send a message. What's up? Let's see if this is actually using sockets. And it is you can see that um, we have two users. Um, joining the same chat and when one sends a message it automatically arrives on the other one you probably used like something like socket io let me see used express which probably means you used sockets yeah yeah socket io as you can see right here so i actually have a tutorial on how to make a a chat app i don't know if you use the same if you watch the tutorial but um it, uh, this is really this is an awesome project i have a video also which explains like what are the projects that i think are the best for your resume and i i truly believe that you creating a project where you, where you use sockets for anything shows that you're able to think logically because it is kind of like you can use sockets for so many like cool stuff i don't know how to explain but like just like creating a, a whatsapp clone or or i don't know making a game where it's multiplayer you need to use sockets for that so like there's so many things you can do with it and a chat is our it's a, it's a great example if you have a chat app in your project in your resume then people will will know that at least like you learned this a bit about, about a bit about networking which is already really important overall i really like this project i think the ui needs to improve um just like this is an opinion so i i, I would change the color scheme would kind of make this look a little bit better but if this is if, if this is just like a simple project then that doesn't matter that much also um, the timestamps, um, I think they are kind of um, related to your timestamp. So where I am right now, it's 4.17 p.m. And it's saying that it is 5.45 a.m. Um, that's fine. That's totally fine. I think you're using some sort of um, API to get your own date. So the person who lives, who created this, currently is in a time zone, which is 5.45 a.m. And that's completely fine. But overall, I really like this. Okay, guys. So the next one, it's called Next Lunch Bot. And um, again, we like the link sent me to a GitHub repo, but let me see this. Um, okay, so this is just a link for the API. I think that this is, um, yeah, this looks like a Discord bot. And uh, let me see what it does. So you can see they have an example here. They have a, a GIF. And apparently you can search for um, space launches, something like that. Um, they have a bunch of information on this. You can use tokens. Um, I think this is how you implement it on your Discord. So apparently it looks really nice. Um, if you made this, it has an MIT license. It was all built in JavaScript. It's open source. Um, it, I think it looks nice. You have a proc file. Uh, I think this is for, yeah, it's for deployment. Um, honestly, I, I, I like it. I haven't used it, obviously, but um, if this works, it, it looks really nice. You used an API here and you linked the API, which is really nice. Um, I think that this is a really good project. I've never worked with Discord bots before, but I'm really interested in them. So if you guys are interested, I can learn how to make <laughs> Discord bots and I can futurely like make a video on how to make a bot in Discord. There's like endless possibilities. So I think it could be like a really nice project. So yeah, if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment down below. So the next project we have here um, it's called SpaceX API React. So okay, <laughs> so I've I've used the Space app, the the SpaceX API before, and I know some of its flaws and some of its like good parts. Um, so let's see if they translate to uh, this project. You can see, um, I think this was made with React, probably. Let me see. Doesn't say, but I, I'm guessing React, just because. I don't know, my subscribers, most of my subscribers use React. And this is something that could be done with React, obviously. But I would say that definitely, if I would give a feedback, I would say to improve the, the UI, because it's currently very, it's kind of bland, like, you can see there, there aren't a lot of styling. And that's totally fine. But 
if you're going to make a project which is going to be purely um, front end based like this one, this one is just a project showing that you can integrate an API into your project, right? So if you're going to do it like this, then I would definitely recommend um, focusing a bit on the styling, the CSS, just making this look better. You can see that they also have like pagination, which looks really nice. Um, let me see if it works. You can see when you click on this, okay, yeah, it works. So you can see, you can move through the websites and you can see all the different launches apparently that um, SpaceX is doing. However, okay, wait, okay. So this is something important. You can see right here that um, some of the images aren't appearing and I'm gonna give my guess here to why this is happening, uh, to why this is happening this is happening and this is actually an issue that I find with a lot of public APIs. So I, I'm guessing that they like accessed an endpoint which made an API call and they received the JSON with a list of all the different launches in the that is going to happen, right? But apparently not all launches already have an image, right? So the JSON didn't return an, a link for an image for this launches right here. It did return for this one's right here, but not for this one right here. So when you're using something like react, react, you're mapping through the list, and you're trying to add the href, like an image with an href for each one of them. So in order to not have this kind of stuff, you you should probably use some like checking to see if the actual href is defined if, if, if it comes in, in the in the object. So that's something that you have to do. I, I would definitely do that in this project right here just to fix it. Um, it's, it should be it shouldn't be that hard. Just um, check to see if the image has been received. And if it hasn't, then just don't display an image because it or else it would just show this um, icon right here. And you can also search for launches. Let me see what can happen if I search for like, um, a Asia, SAT, Asia, SAT. Um, you can see that it shows only the Asia SAT launches. And uh, yeah, honestly, it looks really nice for a beginner's project. I'm guessing that the person who did this um, has just started react had just started learning how to implement APIs. So it's honestly like similar to what I've done. Um, what I've what I did when I started. So I honestly think that is a great, great example of a project that um, is great for a beginner, not to mention that you implemented pagination, which is already a, a bit complicated. So if you did that, and like you checked all the edge cases, because you can see that when it reaches nine, I'm not I'm clicking the button, but it's not going further, which is something that a lot, that a lot of people get confused with. So since you fix that, um, it shows that you're probably aware of how JavaScript works, right? So this is the semi like the second to last project. And this is actually the last one. Um, I don't I don't know what language this is. Sorry, I, I, I don't speak this language. But um, I don't know what this is. So wait, what? Apparently, all of these people did this project. Um, okay, it has sponsors. So I don't know what this is. Apparently, from one of the words here, it seems to be robotics related. So um, there's like a bunch of stuff. There's a blog, there's let me see the technologies. So yeah, it's not showing anything, but it looks really nice. Apparently, you guys won something related to robotics. And congratulations on that if that's actually what it is. Um, I'm just sorry, I can't understand this. But yeah, if you made the website, it looks fine. It looks really great. If you got the sponsors, then also great. Um, yeah, it's a robotics team, you can, as you can see right here. So yeah, that's basically it for the video. Um, it was really nice looking through the, the project that you guys sent me because some of them I was like really surprised, especially the the IDE one and also the the Zoom one. I think there was probably more. The, like all of them looked really nice in their own way. Obviously, some of them were more for like the person who did it is a beginner, and some of them were made by already like groups of people. So overall, I just think that all of them are great projects to have in your resume. If you guys are interested in probably in the future also be being featured in a video like this, I don't think I will redo the same video, but I'll definitely want to like interact with you guys in other videos. So if you're interested in, in appearing in one of the videos, then um, join the, the Discord server, just let me know and what you guys want to see next as well. So yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next. Subscribe because I'm posting three times a week and I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I see you guys next time.